Hi, my name is Simon Townsend, I'm from Absence Technologies. I want to talk to you today about the difference between a roaming profile and an Absence profile. First of all, I'm going to explain what typically happens in a roaming profile environment. Typically, we have a user logs on to a device, whether that be a terminal server, a Windows based XP machine, Vista, virtual or native, it doesn't matter. Typically, we go off to a file server of sorts and we typically download that user's roaming profile. As the user's logged on all day, they're making various personalization changes and that information is being saved in a local copy of that roaming profile. At log off, that profile is uploaded back to the file share. Inherently, these roaming profiles over time start to have a number of issues. Number one, these roaming profiles become very, very large in size, something that we call profile bloat. And secondly, they contain everything um, about the user's environment with them. So they're not granular, they're not efficient. Because of their large size, they can also start to corrupt. And typically from a support point of view, what we normally do when a user has a roaming profile problem is actually just delete that roaming profile and then ask the user to go back through and set up all their personalization settings. Now in an absence environment, we actually do something slightly different. Again, we have a terminal server, but in this case, we would use either a local mandatory profile or a local temporary profile, both of which are very, very small in size. So we log the user on nice and quickly. Nothing is being downloaded at log on. Then instead of pulling down a roaming profile, we actually become more application centric. So as the user decides that he wants to launch Microsoft Word, we can actually, over HTTP or HTTPS, pull that information for that user out of a database. And typically this would be a SQL database. So the word information for that user is streamed down and only the parts for that application that that user needs. He can personalize that application and then when he shuts that application, those settings are sent back up again via HTTP as opposed to SMB in the previous example and stored in the database. The other benefit of um, using this methodology is that from, from a support point of view now, we can have a support console, which can typically be a first or a second line support person as opposed to a third or a fourth. We can actually, for that user, go into the database and perform what we would call profile rollback. And that is on a per user, per application basis. So we can roll back to yesterday's known good, or for instance, we could go back a number of days. That is how, with the Absence solution, we can achieve much faster logons and we can deliver efficient profiles and also from a support point of view actually resolve people's profile issues a lot quicker.